I'm the best, so do not test the top of my profession. The master of my chosen field, of that there is no question. Serious, serious profession. Serious, serious profession. Selfish, arrogant, insensitive, short-tempered and demanding. And that's on a good day. Any children? Yes, Gareth. I was desperate to have kids. My body clock's been ticking so loudly, my gynecologist has started wearing earplugs. <laughs> He's always too busy with the restaurant. Are you still sleeping together? Oh, yes. Plenty of sleep. No sex. <laughs> plenty of sleep. Thank you for being so candid. Now, uh, Mr. Blackstock. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He did promise he'd be here. So, what do you think about my plans for improving Le Chateau Anglais? <laughs> <laughs> OK. We can build on that. Cyril, you cannot improve upon that which is already perfect. The ceiling of the Sistine Chapel does not need a second coat. The Mona Lisa wouldn't look better in a hat. <laughs> and Michelangelo's David does not need a little companion called Kevin. But the restaurant <laughs> does need more punters, Gar. It's Gareth! <laughs> and Le Chateau Anglais does not have punters. We cater for the discerning diner. Well, we don't cater for enough of them. Which is why you went skint and had to sell the restaurant to me, remember? How could I forget? So now it's time for a change. Set menus, open up the bar area, lick a paint, maybe even knock out a few classy bar snacks. Yeah, we could all put on silly hats and have a big sign outside saying, Welcome to McChateau. <laughs> nah. I was thinking more in the lines of a big reopening bash. We could invite stars of stage, screen and football pitch. Oh, dead classy, like. Cyril, I have seen documentaries on Hollywood pets that exude more class than you. <laughs> Understand this. Le Chateau Anglais is my life, my passion. I treat it with respect as I would a beautiful woman. I nurture it, I cherish it, I caress it. I buy it Belgian chocolates. <laughs> on its birthday, I leave expensive silken lingerie under its pillow. What I do not do is whistle at it from the tops of building sites with my bum crack poking out of the back of my jeans. <laughs> That's what I like about you, Gareth, your artistic temperature. All you creative types have got it. Look at Mozart, he cut his ear off. <laughs> well, tell him to send it over in a minicab. We can serve it as a bar snack. <laughs> bar snacks? We're talking bar snacks, Janice. <laughs> I mean, this is the slippery slope. I mean, before you know it, he'll be closing down the kitchen and putting in the flipping roller disco. The man is a complete philistine. All he cares about is making money. Not that there's anything wrong with money, you know, but... <laughs> Janice, are you going out? Well, there's no pulling the wool over your eyes, is there, Gareth? Where are you going? Anywhere. I'm leaving you. What? <laughs> Just like that? I had toyed with the idea of causing you unspeakable physical pain first, but... Frankly, I couldn't think of a part of your anatomy worth blunting a decent blade on. <laughs> You're upset with me, aren't you? You're a bastard, Gareth. I put my whole life on hold for you. Friends, career, having a family. Ah, the family thing. I had meant to get back to you on well, that. But I'm sick to death of you taking it for granted. I mean, how can I, a mere woman, ever hope to compete with that? No, that's the real love of your life. I hope we'll both be very happy together. Janice, I think we should talk about this. Driver, go. Driver, stay. I said go. Janice, you're acting irrationally. <laughs> it's probably just a spot of PMT. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Savannah. Oh, thanks, Everton. Did I ever tell you about the time in L.A. when I created a dish especially for Robin Williams? Robin said it was sensational. Well, when I used to work in my auntie's takeaway down the Arrow Road, I once served my dumplings to this bloke whose cousin rode his friends was. <laughs> you can't let that sort of thing go to your head, you know what I mean? Mm. 
Oh, you'd love L.A. Everton. The sun is always shining. Oh, and the restaurants are so modern. Yeah, well, what with all the riots and earthquakes, they have to rebuild them every three years, don't they? <laughs> Hello, Rob. Hi, it's Gareth. Gareth Blackstock. Well, it's not that much of a surprise, is it? I mean, you're one of our oldest, closest friends. Nine years. <laughs> well, you know how it is. So how's, um... Laura! <laughs> Dear old Laura. <laughs> She's... dead. <laughs> well, life goes on, you know. So, Rob, um, have you seen Janice at all? My wife, Janice, black, 5'5", five, five, attractive, a woman. <laughs> no? All right, then. Stay in touch, matey. <laughs> Tell you about the time Steve Martin and Mary Lou Henner came into the kitchen to thank me personally for the meal I'd cooked for them? No. What happened? Well, Steve Martin and Mary Lou Henner came into the kitchen to thank me personally for the meal I'd cooked for them. Oh, wow. It was amazing. I suspect they was on drugs, they all are out there. Good stuff. Am I beginning to detect a little hostility? Ah, oh, bull's eye, Savannah. This is because I'm American, right? No, Spider-Man was an American. I loved him. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Do you know something? I always wanted to run up walls when I was a kid. Then it's because I'm a woman. No, it was because the lift in our block of flats were always out of order. <laughs> and we lived on the 17th floor. But if I was bitten by a radioactive spider, that sort of thing would be no problem. I'd just wibble up there. <laughs> Listen up, Bigfoot. Having breasts does not make me an inferior human being. I like women, Savannah, and I love breasts. That's all breasts, with very few exceptions whatsoever. And what's more, I happen to be a passionate supporter of women's rights. I view all discrimination as despicable, no matter who it's aimed at. Well, then how come you and I can't learn to get along? You get on me tits, that's what. <laughs> oh, what's that? I uh, got this. Chef, is everything all right, sort of thing? Of course it is, Everton. Why'd you ask? Oh, nothing, Chef. It's just that you're decorating wild cherry tarts with slices of pickled beetroot, Chef. <laughs> Actually, that's Nicole Kidman's favourite dish. Did I ever tell you about the Savannah. time that she and Tom... Yes, Chef. Belt up. I love it when he's assertive. <laughs> it's like he's here, but his mind's somewhere else different altogether, sort of thing. If you know what I mean. Mm. He's in pain. I can sense that he's hurting deep down. That's his underpants are cutting into him. <laughs> you have to get him to talk about whatever's bothering him. You know, show him that you care. But we don't care. <laughs> yes, we do. Well, a bit. Oh, come on, Gus, you can have a word with him, couldn't you? Oh, why me? You've known him longest anyway, you both. What? You know. <laughs> what? Oh, I see. Well, I'd love to, but I'm going out for a curry tonight with my old mates. You might know them. Linford Christie, Trevor MacDonald and Harry Belafonte. <laughs> Cyril, I have something to say. Yeah, your wife's done a bunk, I heard. <laughs> you should have told me. I'm an understanding man. You're like the son I never had. <laughs> I thought you had a son. Well, I have, but you went like him. <laughs> Cyril, my personal life is none of your business. You're right. I just wanted you to know that if there is anything I can do, don't be afraid to ask. Thank you. I won't say another word. Good. Cyril, when the first Mrs. Bryson left me, do you know what I found a huge comfort? If this involves anything inflatable, I really do not want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I threw myself into it like a man possessed, and that is what you have got to do, son. Cyril, remove your hands from my person, or I'll chew them off at the wrists. <laughs> well, face it, son. This place means more to you than she ever did. You've said as much yourself. Let me tell you what Le Chateau Anglais means to me. Mm. It means no house, no savings, no holidays, and now no wife. 
So I hope you'll forgive me when I say that I would rather have boiling hot wax poured over my nipples and a Moonex multi-speed electric whisk shoved down my trousers than throw myself into my work. Well, don't forget the grand opening next week. Cyril, you can stick your grand opening up your grand opening. <laughs> There's no need for that. Le Chateau, cooking food, these aren't the important things in life. They just don't matter in the general scheme of things. Oh, well, then why do I pay you so much? That's beside the point. No. <laughs> what is it that you really want, son? In the words of the late, great Freddie Mercury, I want to be free. <laughs> free? To do what? To suck on life's rich marrow. Oh, there's no need for mucky talk. <laughs> Cyril, I want to go on holidays. Cheap package holidays where you drink too much, dance the conga and end up eating things bigger than your own head. I want to go out one night and come back three nights later with a massive hangover, six stitches down my forehead and a picture of Gaza tattooed on my left buttock. <laughs> I want to be Sean Connery abseiling down tower blocks, swimming underwater in my jockey shorts and calling beautiful women poor sheep for no particular reason. <laughs> I want to go off and discover a world where I don't have to go into a kitchen and shout at people. I just want out. Well, you wouldn't last five minutes outside this place. Perhaps it's time I found out. What do you mean? Gareth, what are you doing? <laughs> Please consider that my letter of resignation. <laughs> you, you've been under a lot of pressure. Take the rest of the day off. My God, this is so liberating. I should have done this years ago. <laughs> Calm down, Gareth. But think of everything you've worked for. What about your little Michelin Man stars? Give them to someone who needs them. Keith Floyd's number's in the book. <laughs> what about the grand opening? It won't work. Janice won't have your back. She hates you. She told me so. <laughs> You spoke to my wife? Well, she rang me uh, for a reference. It was her that told me about you two splitting up. Where is she? I don't know. She just left a phone number. Hand it over. Oh, she made me promise I wouldn't give it to you. <laughs> Hand it over. <laughs> or the lot comes off. <laughs> Hello, Janice. J <laughs> Hello, J <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hello, is that the Home Shopping Channel? I wonder if you could... Janice, please don't put the phone down. There's some things we need to talk about. Well, the division of communal property wasn't exactly top of my agenda, but... No, not now, I'm busy! No, Janice, not you, please. Gareth, open up. If this is about money, we can talk. Money's got nothing to do with it. No, Janice, no, I know you and I have to discuss money. It's... I'm a reasonable man, Gareth. How does an extra five grand a year sound? Will you go away? No, Janice, not you. <laughs> we should get together and discuss things. We really OK, should. ten grand, but you're really screwing me. I wouldn't screw you, Janice, no! <laughs> you know, that's... Look, it's Cyril, neutral ground, OK? I'll pick you up about eight o'clock. I'll think of somewhere. OK, bye. That's my final offer. And I need to know the answer right now. Is it yay or is it nay? No! Oh! <laughs> Do I take it that's a nay? <laughs> One word, Friday night, the big bash. Any cock-ups and you're all out on your jacksies, am I understood? I'm sorry, what is it I do with my jacksie? Talk through it, Savannah. <laughs> Which brings me to my second point. Due to uh, personal problems, Mr Blackstock will not be available for the foreseeable future. Uh, uh, Mr Bryson, sir, how long exactly is the foreseeable future? Anything up to the next 40 years, he's resigned. He's resigned? He's resigned! He's panic! Did England panic when Gascoigne got injured? No, but they were crap. <laughs> yeah. Well, you won't be. And I'm going to appoint a new chef de cuisine to take over from Mr Blackstock. <sighs> Mr Bryson, sir, I believe I speak for all of us when I say that under the circumstances surrounding Garrett... Mr Blackstock's departure, I don't believe any of us would feel comfortable taking over his position. Oh, that's a shame, Pet. I was thinking of offering you the job. Oh. 
<laughs> me! Mm -hmm. Me! Oh, yes! <gasps> yes! <laughs> hey, hey! Ho, ho! Yes, Savannah, where to go? Hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Go away, Cyril. I don't get out of bed for less than 320 million a year. <laughs> it's me, Chef. Everton. Oh. Oh. Chef. 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 <laughs> 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 I just thought you could use some company, that's all. Just the ten of us? <laughs> they had the decorators in then? I suppose you've heard. What, about you and Mrs Blackstock? No? <laughs> well, maybe I've heard a bit. She's left me. That's the bit I heard. <laughs> So she needs more space. <laughs> How much more space? An entire postal code, apparently. <laughs> she says she's going to divorce me. She thinks I'm selfish, arrogant, small-minded, inconsiderate to other people's feelings. Well, feel free to contradict at any point. <laughs> Women, eh? You can't live with them. Can't even meet them, actually. If only I could convince her that I've changed. Maybe you should try being honest, Chef. That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, how are things in the kitchen? Pandemonium, I'll bet. No. Savannah's got everything under control. <coughs> <laughs> Savannah? Yes, Chef. She's the new chef, Chef. My God, that's like making Flipper the captain of the Titanic. <laughs> oh, well. Good luck to her. No chance of you coming back, then? None whatsoever. What? Not even as a customer, Chef. I need more canapes. I need a drink. Where are the tomato tarts? I asked for more mini tomato tarts. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you'd like to take your seats, dinner is about to be served. Yeah, thanks. I'll see you later. Remember me? I'm the son you never had. How are things, father? What are you doing here? This is a private party. There's no traitors allowed. I understand. Carol, what are you doing? What does it look like? There are photographers everywhere. Great. This will sell a few copies of Hello! magazine. <laughs> All right! I can stay. Just promise you'll keep your kit on. You're too kind. You know Janice? Yeah. Cyril? Well. We'll see ourselves to our table. But we agreed on neutral ground. It is. I've resigned. Bully for you. Now, my solicitor's drawn up a blueprint for the division of property. I'd like you to take a look. Half the current account, half the deposit account, half of the furniture, half the CD collection. <laughs> Blimey, Janice, I'm surprised you haven't asked for one of my... If they're of any use to me, Gareth, I would have. <laughs> Janice, you know, your leaving is the best thing that could have ever happened to me. Good. At least it won't be an acrimonious divorce. It's been a life-changing experience. I realise how much I've missed out on all these years. About the flat, I suggest that either we sell it or, alternatively, you can buy me out. But now I want to make amends, Janice. I want us to take holidays, make new friends, start a family. I've had a restaurant, I've had a career. Now I want a life. What's that got to do with me? My solicitor says you're entitled to half of it. Two consomme, one galette, and one quail salad.
salad. I'm still waiting for my scallops and artichoke salad. Well, that's two galette, one consomme, one quail salad. No, yeah. two consomme, one galette. Dump the quail salad. Come, 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 come. Don't forget my scallops, huh? You'll be weird in a minute, Sancho. That's two consomme, one galette, and one quail salad. Two consomme, one galette, one quail salad. Praise the Lord. Hey, scallops, scallops, come on, come on, whatever you want. What is it? Oh, how come we have another consomme? Didn't I ask you to What's check it? Excuse me, chef. Yes. I was wondering if you had an experienced firefighter when he was working in that line. Check your head. Might come in handy. Oh my God! Oh, keep calm, Savannah. Keep calm. Keep calm. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Not working. Switch to plan B. Prozac. <laughs> Any moment now, it's going to trigger the M. Um, well, it, might, it might just trigger off the M. Um, oh, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> this freakless! Did I ever tell you about the time I had a nervous breakdown on my first day in charge of Ship Shield? Let's say, uh, hypothetically, I was to con consider it, where would we live? We could spend the summer in France. Got ourselves a nice old farm, with a nice old farmhouse. Nice old farm hand. <laughs> Provence might be nice. The local produce is sensational. Tomatoes and red peppers like you wouldn't believe. I once made this very basic ratatouille. You basically chop everything up and then you drizzle. <laughs> OK, forget France. What about Italy? Wonderful pasta, Janice. Spain. Tap us to die for, Janice. Excuse me, waiter. Yeah. I've been waiting 40 minutes for my meal. Yeah, one moment, okay? Well, Look, we'll go wherever you want, okay? Uh, somewhere food hasn't been invented yet. Iceland's nice this time of year. <laughs> Come to Iceland, a place with snow where Bjork looks normal. <laughs> oh, Gareth, I'd really like to believe you. But I know what you're like. Oh, no, no, no. See, that's the old Gareth. This is the new, lead-free, dolphin-friendly model with improved formula, built for speed and ribbed for comfort. <laughs> oh, come on, James. If I can relax here, I can do it anywhere. Here's our food. Great. Chef Vincenzo, enjoy your meal. Thank you. Bon appétit. Look, if you really are serious, I might consider giving you one last chance. <laughs> really would be with... Gareth, is, is everything all right? Uh, would you excuse me for just one moment, please? Gareth? Hello. Where are you going? I'm singing in the rain. Waterworks. Yes, sir. <laughs> that goes for you too, Savannah. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. In all my years as a chef, I've never seen such, such. Oh my dear God, Mother Teresa and Cliff Richard. <laughs> I am lost for words. Your gross incompetence has succeeded in rendering me completely and utterly mute. And <laughs> it's just, I mean, I want to, I want to, you should all be, <laughs> I just can't be, I just want to, as for this, <laughs> I stand before you, struck dumb by the very gravity of your collective ineptitude. See? <laughs> Sorry, Chef. Sorry, Chef. Gustav, dispose of these. Yes, Chef. Preferably somewhere in the French Pacific. Yes. We'll save the stock and make a risotto. Yes. We'll put Everton's Longestine in and tell them it's a special. Right, and Savannah. Yes, Chef. My hat. Come on.
Let's rock and roll. Okay, we need to get rid of this. <laughs> Everton, can we get this mess swept through immediately, please? Yes, sir. Panic over, everything's sweet. Well done, everybody. Take five. You're an inspiration tonight, Chef. I feel I've bathed in the light of your genius. Thank you. Next time, try the same thing with soap and water. <laughs> Do you know what, Chef? I don't know what we would have done if you and Mrs. Blackstock hadn't turned up tonight and went come oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. introduce you to the man responsible for the wonderful food we've eaten tonight, Mr. Gary Blackstone. Oh, it's Gareth! Well, I think this evening went rather well. My wife's left me. I've blown my last chance of saving my marriage. My life is in tatters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, apart from that, though... <laughs> I miss my little Janice. You should get yourself a whippet, son. They make excellent companions. So well, you cannot replace the love of your life with something that craps on the carpet. <laughs> oh, I did. Anyway, it's good to have you back, son. Forget it. I'm not coming back. Tonight was a one-night-only deal. Not to be repeated. You can't be serious. Oh, yes, I can. Gathy, son, please. <laughs> You've got to stay. I'll, I'll do anything. Anything? Anything at all. I promise. <laughs> Looks the same as I step down from the train. And they to meet me as my mama and papa <laughs> down the road <laughs> with my sweet Mary, hair of gold and lips like cherries. It's good. <laughs> So do not test the top of my profession The master of my chosen field Of that there is no question Take the time to listen to what I have to say To what I have to say That we have to play It's serious Serious profession Serious, serious profession, serious.